What's up everyone, it's Zen Mushroom Derby for Life. I'm here gonna do a update video or a fix it kind of video on the Angry Birds car. I know you guys have been telling me not to run it or a couple of you say don't don't run it, it's junk, uh, it's toast, pull what you can, whatever. And I decided to run it again. Um, the reason why I'm running it again is because I think it's got one more run. I don't mind putting a little bit of time into running a full size car. If this was like the damage that was done to it, if it was a compact, I would have pitched the compact like in a heartbeat. But this is a full size car, and these cars are becoming more and more hard to find and for a decent price. And I got this thing for a very decent price. So I don't mind spending the extra little time into fixing it. If the frame's not on the ground, she ain't junk. That's my philosophy. The rear humps might be blown out, but it's not hitting the ground yet. So it's got one more run, at least one more run. Uh, if something stupid doesn't happen to me, um, if something stupid doesn't, if something stupid happens to me, it might get two runs, but for now, it's getting another run, at least one run. Uh, you can see the back end here is kind of pushed down and out of the way, but I'm going to fix this up a little bit more. I'm going to get it more together and more like a ball, kind of. I'll try to get that figured out. Um, for now, I've just been taking my time with uh, getting everything down out of the way because I'm going to be taking this to my grandparents and I'm going to use an excavator to pull the front end down and straighten this back hump out a little bit more um but I will pro I'll probably actually do a video on that when I start working on it but I'll show you guys what I have done already and what kind of damage has actually happened to this um well, if you remember, the whole back end was pushed in, and then the tires were the back tires were actually getting seized, and so I took the time to pull all the sheet metal away, and then the hump is barely touching the tire. It's touching it, but not that much. Um, also, what happened was the this frame here. There's a crush box area right here. This was all kinked down at a 45. So what I did to fix it is I took a cement block, lifted up the back end, and I kept dropping it on it until it's pretty much straight. I think I actually have it kinked upwards a little bit, which is going to help. I mean, granted, uh, right there, starting to, this is kinked here. Big whoop, not going to hurt me nothing. Also, I noticed it is starting to it's starting to go down belly out a little bit, but it's not touching it's still got about six inches or better uh before hitting the ground. But what I'll do to fix that or to keep it from going down so so anymore is I'm gonna throw a chain around the frame and everything and suck everything tight and get it as good as I can. I'm going to do, do the same thing here. So I'm going to put a chain here and a chain here and suck it tight. I might, if I can get away with it, throw some all thread in there and s suck the body and, and the frame together and call it good. Uh, but yeah, you can see I showed you guys that. And then up here, you can definitely tell that humps kind of getting blown out which i mean i'm not too worried i'll pull it back i'll try to pull it back straight and we'll run her again uh door shot not gonna pull any of this out not kind of pointless to me it's touched in the cage and the seat it ain't broke yet it ain't buckled the seat that bad so we'll run her again uh, the fenders were all blown apart and everything, and I kind of have them back straight. And not the greatest, but it's good enough for what it is. 
I might push them in a little bit and then I'm gonna cut out this inner fender. I know it's not the greatest thing to do, but this inner fender needs to go. And it's not doing much anyway. So I'm just gonna cut it out and get rid of it. Hood I'm gonna replace, I have another spare hood. Uh, core support is mangled yet, I will fix that. I'll try to remount it down. Uh, motor seems to be okay. Uh, nothing too bad. Belt popped off. Uh, steering looks, uh, I'm not sure. Steering looks okay. Bumpers pointed up, but this will be all pulled back down. I can show you guys how bad that frame is. She buckled right here, and that's the only spot she buckled. Every from this point back, uh, but I mean, like right down here, that's going down. But from basically from here all the way back to there is fine. I didn't find any buckles, no like creases, nothing. And this is actually pulling down fairly decent. And I'm gonna actually put a skid loader or not skid, an ex excavator on it. I'm gonna see if I can get this pulled even further down, and then I'm gonna put a couple plates a good section of plating in here to uh, strengthen, strengthen it. If I have to, I'll run this in a 80s welder class. Like I'll, I'll take the actual time and uh, beef up the front end a little bit more. Um, can show you, uh, maybe not. This side's a lot worse, a lot worse. But that crush box, or that crush box, that, steer that steering box right down here, that's help. That's actually been helping the frame. That's probably what helped the frame to go up like how it did. Um, so I'm gonna pull it back down and put a good plate on it, and we'll see how she does. I don't think there's any breaks in here. Uh, I don't think we ever put any in. There might be some, but not much. This fender here is all goofed up pretty good. I will actually get this pulled back out straight and a little bit better. But for now, I did what I could to get tire clearance. I, it doesn't look too bad for what for what I had. But this was all kinked in, if I remember right. So that side popped out, this side popped in. So then I pulled it out and then kind of tried to beat the, uh, the, the crease in so that way it pulled straight. Because you couldn't even see these lodgers here. It was all kinked in and everything and I think I maybe spent about two hours to get it to where it's at this point I think it was about two hours or give or take and that was from digging it out to getting it in the garage here uh this motor should run I did remember to take all the fluid out of it and it's sat, but there's no carb on it. So as soon as I get a carb and a new distributor cap, I think this thing should fire up no problem. And I got to check if there's gas in there. But, I mean, the floors are, seem okay. They're starting to crease a little bit. There's some holes over there, but they ain't nothing. <sighs> this side here was the worst. Uh, as you can tell, this section here is all caved in like that i think someone got a good shot on me they didn't break anything here but they were just high enough that they hit the uh corner in and this all was buckled in like that and then i pulled everything back out i mean you can see this is this used to be straight you know it's down and then it comes back up then it creases bad and down and yeah, the back end I'll I'll kind of push in more, kind of get everything sucked together, and then hopefully this will be enough to get one more run. Uh, the ass end is going to be more for not really anything. It's not going to be good for defense or offense. Um, this is kind of just going to be there. Uh, it would buy me a couple hits. Maybe at least one hit will buy me two tops but there you go guys 
Uh, there is the Angry Birds car. Uh, she will run again. I promise you she will. I'm going to spend the time and get her get her going. I will have... Uh, I'm going to leave these tires up front. And then I'm going to find some different tires for the back. I think I got a set. Yes, I do have one more set that will work on here. These tires on here won't be on there. It's too tall. I don't like that. So I'm going to bring the ass in down a little bit more. But there you go, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this car uh, for what it's worth. This car has one very short run because of an axle stripping out and then a... I believe it was a sixth place it got out of like I think about 15 cars and they were it was basically limited weld cars that this thing ran in uh, I should have saved this car for a different different fare but my buddy wanted the run and he owned part of the car so I let him run it but there you go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hope you guys enjoy this, and we'll catch you guys all in the next one.